Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a hostname or dynamic DNS hostname um, for completely free. Now, if you don't know already what a hostname is, it's basically um, a representation of an IP address but in words. So, for example, um, www, not s, www.google.com, um, that is a hostname for google.com. Now in one of my previous videos where I showed how to find the IP address behind a hostname, I explained that um, hostnames are used so that we don't have to remember the IP addresses um, to go to certain websites or certain services. So instead of typing in the IP address for google.com, you just type in google.com. So it makes it a lot easier to be able to navigate to websites um, and other services that use um, hostnames as well. Now there are a lot of different companies or businesses I guess that offer hostname services um, but there are a few that offer them for free so I'll be showing you um, the best one that offers it for free it's the one that I use um, and I'll be showing you how to set that up okay so now we're gonna um, go to the actual website and I'll show you how to create your um, dynamic DNS name um, so what you're gonna wanna do is open your browser Google whatever you use and just do a simple Google search not NPIP um, no-ip and as we can see the top result here www.noip.com um, and they offer these different dynamic DNS services um, etc um, so yeah so we'll hit that <clears throat> now you're gonna need to create an account um, and then confirm it or activate it they'll send you an email whatever but once you've got that all set up um, then we can actually go about setting up our dynamic DNS <clears throat> so we're gonna hit dynamic DNS um, and then over here as we can see we've got different plans now the one we're going to be going for is free obviously um, and as we can see it has limitations obviously um, like us um, it's got limited domains limited um, number of host names that you can do and you have to confirm it every three, 30 days so they'll send you an email every <coughs> 30 days or so um, and they'll basically say are you still interested in it basically just stop um, people just creating them and then leaving them and not using them um, so we got that there. So I guess that's a small inconvenience, but it's not that much of a price to pay um, for the free service that they're offering. If you really wanted to, you could go for the enhanced or the plus managed DNS services, um, where you can have a ton more host names um, and domain registration, host never expire, etc., um, etc. So once you've done all of that, obviously we're going to go for the free one. So now we're going to want to hit manage domains. And as we can see here, it'll take us to this page. And now we're going to hit Use New Site. Now it's a bit confusing um, to get to the actual page, but when we hit New Site, if it loads, there we go. Um, so it's going to take us here. <coughs> and as we can see here, we got this box Quick Add. Um, so now here is where we can add our host name. <coughs> so the host name can be basically any num any string of numbers and letters that you want I believe it has a maximum of 19 um, characters <coughs> but you wouldn't want to make it too long anyway so the domain you have a couple to choose from here actually quite a few to choose from here um, under the free category um, and then there are some under enhanced um, <coughs> so those are the ones that you would get access to um, if you have a paid account but .ddns.net that's what I used. I got, that looks perfectly fine, um, and it looks a not, lot nicer than some of these other ones. Um, <coughs> so now we'll set up our host name. So this host name, as I said before, can be numbers, letters, whatever we want. So if we go Celtic com, if I can spell this, Celtic Computers um, dot ddns dot net, and then we're going to hit Add Host Name. Now, as we can see, that says that name is already taken. So that's the thing about this is other users might have already taken that specific host name. So if you change that up um, to suit you until you find one that works, basically, that you're happy with. So I'll do maybe 99 after it, add host name. And there we go. So as we can see here, success, that host name, dot, so Celtic Computers 99.ddns.net, um, that has been added to my account and that's now active. It might take a couple seconds, so a couple minutes um, to activate and synchronize with your IP address as we got here. We've got my IP address which I will be blurring out. Um, but yeah, so basically instead of having to navigate now to that IP address when I'm wanting to, say for example if I was hosting a website or a server of some kind, I could rather just navigate <coughs> to Celtic Computers 99.ddns.net. 
So now we can test that it's up and running um, if we open up CMD. And then what we're going to do is we'll use a trick that I showed you before. Well, not really a trick, but um, this command. And we're going to ping um, that host name to check that it's actually um, attached to my IP address, essentially. So we'll see if this works now. I might need a couple more minutes to synchronize with the IP address. But we'll hit enter. Um, so yeah, as we can see, that is not connected yet. So we shall tune back in when it is connected. That should be active now, so once again we're going to try ping um, Celtic Computers 99.ddns.net and hit enter. So as we can see, that's pinged to my IP address here, um, which is going to be blowed out as well. Um, but that is the same as my normal IP address, so this is a good way to test that the host name is active um, and that kind of thing. Now, something that you need to be wary of is if your external IP address changes, some ISPs. Um, will change this monthly depending on what kind of internet plan you're on. Um, you're actually going to need to go into your router settings um, and a lot of modern routers, all of them in fact, should have um, the details regarding um, or rather boxes to enter your details for whichever um, dynamic DNS service you use. And basically that's going to update <coughs> um, say for example no IP, it's going to tell no IP when that IP address changes and then no IP can change that for you. So as you can see here it's got my IP address um, and it needs to know my IP address in order to assign this host name to it. Um, so that's what dynamic DNS actually means. Um, I was just referring to it as DNS, dynamic DNS or DNS host name. Um, but that's what dynamic DNS means. It means it'll change um, with your IP address um, which is really good as well because this is included um, in the free version. You can actually download um, free software, that program on your computer that'll keep them synch synchronized, um, the dynamic update client or duck, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, my IP address doesn't change, um, so I don't have to use that. My old internet, I did, um, and that works really well because it'll update. As soon as your IP address changes, it'll update and tell no IP that your IP address has changed, and then it can update that um, for the host name. So anyway guys, thank you very much for watching and I will catch you in the next video.